So for a devotee, these informations of Krishna oh, become so, my Krishna is so Lord, oh, my God is so powerful. And I think sometimes I uh, recited one story. Oh, this is for very instructive that Narad Muni, uh, he used to visit Narayan every day. So when he was passing on the road, so one very learned Brahmin and taking thrice bath and everything very nicely, he asked Narad Muni, oh, you are going to uh, Lord, uh, will you inquire uh, when I shall get my salvation? Uh, all right, I shall ask. And then another uh, cobbler, he was under the tree uh, seeing the shoes, old shoes. He also saw Narad Muni. He also inquired, Do you kindly inquire from God when my salvation is? Then when he inquired, Krishna, uh, Narayan, Narad Muni goes generally to Narayan in another planet. So he has two, uh, one Brahmin and one cobbler, they inquired like this. Uh, so may I know what is their destination? The Narayan said, well, yes, the cobbler, this, after uh, giving up this body, he is coming here and boycott. And what about that Brahmin? Oh, he has to remain there still. So many births. Or I do not know when he is coming. So Narad Muni was astonished that I saw that is very nice Brahmin and he is a cobbler. How is that? So he inquired, then I cannot understand the mystery. Why you say that cobbler is coming this after this uh, body? And why not this Brahmin? Oh, that we, you will understand. If they inquire, that what Krishna or Narayan was doing in his abode. So just uh, explain that he was taking one elephant from the holes of a, what is called, needle. Yes. Uh, through the hole of a needle he is pulling an elephant this side and this side. All right. So when he again approached, uh, the Brahmin, the Brahmin said, Oh, you have seen a lot? Yes. So what was you are doing? Uh, you are saying this through the point of a needle. You are pushing one elephant this way. Yes. Oh, therefore, I have no faith in your... Uh, uh, I, I have got respect for your God. Uh, we don't believe all this nonsense. Then uh, Narad uh, could understand the, this man has no faith. He simply reads book. That's all. And when he went to the cobbler, uh, uh, he also asked, Oh, you have seen uh, what uh, Narayan was doing. Uh, he also said that he was doing like this. Oh, he began to cry. <laughs> oh, my Lord is wonderful. Oh, uh, he can do anything. See, so Narada inquired. So, do you believe? that uh, Lord can push one elephant to the holes of a needle. Oh, why not? I must believe. Then what is your reason? Oh, my reason. I am sitting under this uh, banyan tree and so many fruits are falling daily and each fruit there are thousands of seeds and each seed there is a tree. If in a small seed there can be big tree like that, is it very impossible to accept that uh, Krishna is putting one elephant through the, uh, I mean the holes of a needle? He has kept such a nice tree in the sea. So this is called belief. The unbeliever and believer means the believers, they are not blind believers, they have reason. If by Krishna's process, by God's process or nature's process, such a big tree can be put within the small seed, uh, is it very impossible for Krishna to keep all these planets floating in his energy? So we have to believe. We have no other explanation. But we have to understand in this way. Our reasoning, our argument, our logic should go in this way. So. Those who are devotees, just like the cobbler, he may be a cobbler, and they believe everything. 
and those who are not devotees, they will say, oh, these are all bluffs. These are all bluffs. But they are not bluff. It is simply meant for the devotees. They can understand. The non-devotees, they cannot understand. 